What's up, Texas wrestling fans, and welcome to the MPX Mainline. I'm here in front of the MPX Event Center with, of course, the front row crew, Kyle Smith and Austin Greer. And man, oh man, Consequences lived up to its name. Oh boy, what a show. There oh, were geez. huge consequences for some people. Oh yeah. yeah, and of course, Consequences for the Consequences, it was just a wild night. Once again, MPX knocking it out of the park. I keep saying it every week, but just... I don't think I don't think it can get better. And then no, they just proved they me do. wrong. This Absolutely. is the place to be in DFW every Saturday. I mean, it kind of gets tired of saying it, but it's so true. If you're a wrestling fan and you're in the DFW area, this is the only place to be. It's Bedford, Texas at Metroplex Wrestling. Preach it. Absolutely. So, wrestling fans, oh man, the main event. The main event was where it all came together and it was absolute chaos. Gross. It was just nuts. There was no control over from, the whole match. From and the beginning, Anthony had well control. I mean, I, I have mean, to say that that Dalton and Palmer got one, got it dude, back. DP came in hard and fast, yes, and it did. was crazy. The McKenzie's, they held it off, though. They the did. The McKenzie's they did. handled the DP very well. I can't believe Absolutely. how and, and how they came out with it. I mean, it's crazy. That, yeah. that match what from match. start to finish, I mean, it was utter chaos. And then, I mean, I mean let's not put it this way. Palmer came out and stated the show. He's going to kick Jamie's teeth down his throat. Jamie got laid out. Oh, yeah. I sure, mean, he got sorry, his sorry, in. sorry, Jamie. We still love you. Man. I know. I love no, Jamie. Ja but, I mean, Palmer did what he said. He went out there and did word. it. Dalton did what he said. He went right after Scott. Uh -huh. But when it comes down to it, the McKenzie's, they got the win. They just work together really well as a unit. They're a much better tag team. I mean, the Fighting McKenzie's are a force to be reckoned with. Those dastardly yep. McKenzie can't, boys. Yep. I can't deny that. I mean, I wish they didn't, you know sell out i guess to creative but but selling out gets them a title i was gonna say it's like i can't deny i mean who's but, wearing the gold i mean let's uh. face it what happened after as soon as Scott's walking to the back, Hardakis is right there. Yep. That's Once what happens, again. though, is from now on. You don't mess with March, the demon, folks. A until demon. March 16th, Hardakis is always going to be behind Scott. Mm -hmm. Scott's always got to keep yeah. his eyes in the back of his head. And Dalton's going to be there. I mean, Scott is a number man. The MPX champions usually is always numbered and always being gunned There's for. There's always a target on There's a lot more people, it seems like, going after Scott than normal before. And but for some reason, crazy. Scott's deciding that he's going to not only have the target on his back but he's going to you know put a kick me sign there too because he's poking the demon and he's not just poking the demon he's i mean also, well, yeah, talking about earlier with mike fox how long is mike fox going to tolerate creative getting involved in his match yeah i was gonna say as you both were saying you know scott he's the current champion he's got hardakis coming after he's got hardakis gunning for him mm -hmm. mike fox might be gunning for him soon palmer wants his belt back he said it absolutely in the match, yeah which you Nope. Dalton uh, just wants Scott's blood. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, here's the thing, though. Like you're there, saying, Scott put a so kick me long, sign. It's only so long one man can weather like an assault from four different sides. But that's the thing, though. We'll take them each one by one. Scott has beat Dalton in the bunkhouse brawl. Absolutely. Yes. Scott is one of the only people to beat Hardakis. Which Scott is has beat Fox in the past. Yeah. Scott is he's not back and down from these. He's going head on at them. Oh yeah. Now that's the thing, though. Like we said, fighting McKenzie's. That's in their name, and that's what they do. Absolutely. I mean, it's just one of those, like you're saying, though. Are the numbers, are they going to add up? Who knows? I mean, I think they might. And we'll it's see. Just, he's... It's, he's, it's all coming ahead Scott, to destiny. Scott, Scott is a formidable champion, but there's only so long one man can last. Absolutely. But March 16th, we could see all of that change as destiny happens. It's just... Shut your mouth! Oh, jeez. You freaking uh, kidding me? Hi, Jamie. <sighs> Traders and I, greats. We still, we still like. We had a plan. We were gonna kick this guy out of this thing. You guys were gonna be stars. We all know he's it's the my, weak link. It's my channel. <laughs> Not anymore, pal. Oh, MPX geez. after show. I got a bum ankle. Cause Andy Dalton wanted to throw Brett McKenzie on top of me. I get super kicked by Matt Palmer. I got a loose tooth back here. I gotta go to emergency dentist. Oof. Then I gotta go to the ER because I got a bum ankle and a loose tooth. And you're out here probably telling me how I deserve it, don't you? Well, guess what? Guess what? Who runs the show? Who makes the match?
matches. Well, it's me. What's the best show in DFW? MBX. What does that mean? It means I do my job. It means you like the work that I do. But you want to sit here and you want to badmouth me every chance you get. You want to call me out and you want to question everything that I do. You're here because of me. I, I make this show yours. happen. I got mine tonight. I got a loose tooth and a busted ankle. Yep. And you're sitting there with a that. smile on, my, on your face because you're a jackass. That's what you are. You are a jackass. That's what JA stands for, isn't it? Jackass. I figured it out. I finally figured it out because I'm the smartest guy here. I run the show and you need to start respecting me because you come here week in and week out and you love what you see. Think about that. He's not wrong. I mean, he's I good. can't deny wrong. that. Look at the talent he brings into us. Look at the matches he gives us. He's not wrong. Oh no! You do you do go a little hard on him sometimes. I mean, really. But no, Jamie does have a point. Week after week, it, he proves it. I call it like I see it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love MPX. I do love the product. But I loved it before he was in charge. Make no mistake about it. No matter who the figurehead was, Jamie was always back there pulling the strings. Jamie is just now if in front. So if you say so. But either ways, folks, what what? That was a hell of a show tonight. Amazing. Consequences. Absolutely. Jay just had his consequences dealt with him. You got to always be here, and it's all leading up to Destiny, March 16th. Scott McKenzie versus Hardakis, round number three. So do you think Jamie was serious about firing us? No, I don't think so. I think we made up for it. Okay, cool. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Can you believe that happened? I mean, just... There I am. I'm trying to give them a great review and everything because the show was phenomenal. Regardless of anything that Jamie Aller had to do with it. And just... After that, things kind of got derailed and we just could not agree on, you know, what to do next. So... We went ahead and cut it there, and I'm just going to go ahead and do go through a quick review of what happened. Uh, let's see. First and foremost, you know, at the very start of the night, we were supposed to get the greatest team alive taking on team action for the MPX tag team titles. But due to illness, team action has been cut, at least from that match, for now. Who knows, they did win the right for a number one contendership, so we could see it happen in the future. And that'll be a pretty awesome. Instead, we got a we got a good match regardless. We got BC and Livy Loca taking them on. And well, it was great to see at least, you know, the other two thirds of Team Fisher coming back together to try and take these belts, but unfortunately, uh didn't turn out so well for them as Livy took the GMA and um yeah, it looked pretty hard, too. Uh, I talked to her afterward, and then her neck's a little sore, but she'll live. Uh, then we had... Whew, after that, we had the MPX Prospect Championship match, and... Oh, boy. Uh, well, you know what? Actually, I'll get to that one last, because you have already saw the main event. Let's talk. Uh, we'll talk about the uh, Prospect Championship in just a bit. I want to go ahead and move around to you know, other things. And huh, I got a little something special for you guys. Um, we also had Hardakis taking on Mike Fox. Now, Mike Fox was a little upset with uh, how things turned out last week at the Rumble. But, you know, he's a man about it. He's going to hash it out in the ring with the guy that he's got a problem with and oh, well that's what should have happened and it looked like Hardakis was going to get the win but you never know you never know we will never know because before anything could be decided the impact players the McKenzie's and Aller himself decided that they were going to get involved and they attacked Hardakis from behind while Hardakis had Mike in the claw leading to Mike Fox, the main event, being disqualified. Now, of course, this pissed Hardakis off enough, and you heard what happened. But um, Mike looks pretty angry at this. He, I think he's starting to get tired of creative, of the McKenzie's, the Impact players, getting involved in his business because, you know, He's not involved in this whole power play between the rebels and creative and everything like that, the authority. No, he's he's here to 
just do his thing. He's here to wrestle. He's here to prove that he is the main event. And without the main event, there is no show. But they keep getting in the way. And if you keep getting in his way, this is Mike Fox, baby. It ain't going to go well for you. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we also had... Oh, jeez. Okay, so these two ma next two matches, they were both contenders for match of the night. If it weren't for the veteran all-stars going after each other, the Brookies would have had it. Oh, man. Aaron Sykes finally getting a well-earned shot at the MPX Addicts Championship against Ryan Remington, a guy who I, I don't like him, but I can't deny how good he is, how much he has dominated MPX and DFW. Everywhere he goes, he is just unstoppable. So, the match was fantastic. It was pure athleticism. It was power versus speed. It was that lariat of doom versus the flippy stuff. And Aaron took Ryan to the limit. It was just an amazing match. Ryan had to dig deep and get a little dirty to be able to defeat the master of the flippy stuff. My, my name for him. And, yeah, I mean, Ryan came out on top, and he fought hard for it, but we all know. If you see the match, you know. And that was just, it would have been match of the night if it weren't for this next match, which was Fuego del Sol actually here this time, taking on 50 caliber Barrett Brown. And man, talk about art. I mean, these two guys, they're just, whew, I can't even begin to describe how good they are. They took it to the limit. They gave it everything they had. But eventually, just, you know, Eventually, you know, Barrett just had had it. <laughs> he won it. He beat it. And it was just, it was so awesome to watch. And I just, whew, I hope we can see more of it soon. Because that was just an incredible match. And if you missed it, um, I plug it all the time. Definitely get the network. Network.mpxwrestling.com. Nine ninety nine a month. First week free. Free membership if you have season tickets for the show. It's just, it's worth it. It's worth it as much as any other, you know, wrestling network out there. Because, mm, weekly content, great stuff. Okay, enough shilling for the, for the MPX. But, we already talked about the main event. So let me talk about the main event to me. The most important match to me. And which the solution, Dave Sagan, took on the Tommy Becker, a former brother, a former teammate, a former friend. And Tommy brought it. They always say that the third defense is the hardest defense. And you know what? That proved to be the absolute truth. Tommy Becker just brought everything he had. And they know each other so well. They worked together so long that it just... It almost looked like Dave was going to lose it. I mean, heck, Aller tried to get involved. But... <sighs> Sagan won in the end. And... That's third defense. That is... Just... Hail Sagan. I'll say it again. I said it before. I'll say it again. And you know what? In just a moment, you'll see me say it one more time. Because I got something special for you wrestling fans. Me and the guys from the other side, the front row crew, we got to talk to the MPX prospect champion, Dave Sagan. Here it is. What's up, Texas wrestling fans? This is Jay Williams, your hashtag certified mark, standing in front of the MPX Event Center with none other than the four-time MPX Prospect Champion, the greatest MPX Prospect Champion ever, 
Dave Sagan, the solution. Yeah. Hail, Hail Sagan. Sagan. Oh, hey, thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, Dave, congratulations on your third victory. Thank you. Cannot wait to see you make your fourth one and take it all the way. Fourth. You're, you're about to do what some people, very few people have done, maybe. Get Absolutely. that fourth win, mm -hmm. cash in. Just like the cranberry said, I want to go all the way. Yep. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's fair. Now, let's see. Now, let's see. What kind of lit this fire under you was Jamie kind of turning his back on you and your brothers and everything like that. Mm -hmm. What, I mean, did that truly motivate you or was this something, I mean, you've always kind of have a love affair with the prospect title. Mm -hmm. But when you had it originally, you're he like, nope, the, that's all I want. Mm -hmm. you, didn't want the, you didn't want the MPX title. Do you now want that MPX title just to kind of shove it in the Jamie? Or what is your mindset going into your fourth defense? So the first time I held the MPX prospect championship, when I had all four title defenses, and I cashed in on the MPX champion, Scott McKenzie. I don't know if you remember what happened, but that was not the spot that I wanted to use it. But I was under the guidance of Jamie Aller at the time, and he convinced me that would be the best time to do it, and you know what happened, we know the result. Yep. Here's the thing though, I'm on my own now. I'm picking my spots, I'm doing things the way that I want to do them, and it feels, it feels so good. I hate to say it feels so good, but it does, it, it feels does. great. It does. And this time, when I cash in the Prospect Championship, I think things are going to be a little different. History is not going to repeat itself. Things are going to come full circle. And I'm going to be sitting on the top of MPX sooner than later. And it's going to be a whole lot more interesting. No. Oh, for absolutely. Sure. Definitely agree. You know, you and I don't have the greatest history uh, since I came to MPX, but I've got to say that Walk you... the bridge, man. You really just turned me around. I, I'm definitely a fan of Sagan. So I'm going to say it on camera, right next to him, like I said I would before. Hail Sagan. Good luck on that fourth time. Thank oh, absolutely. Doing yes. us all proud, man. I'm yep. trying my best. It's a little chilly out here, so I'm going to roll it's, up out of here. It's, it's you're from Delhi. Aren't you used to that? I'm... I'm used to it. Doesn't mean I don't like it. Yeah, okay. Come on, man. All right. Right. This is fine. Yeah. It's a little chilly. I'm going to yeah. go home. Everyone else go to Big Shots. I need to go home and take the dog out. Yep. Gator, That's the fair. former Impact dog. He's just nice. Gator, uh, master of the Church of Saganism for all my Saganists. Nice. See, right? um, nice. So, everyone, have a great night. Thanks for coming out. All right. I Thank appreciate you very much. Thank you. Always. Of course. All and. Right. This. Bye. Hail Sagan. <laughs> As always, Texas wrestling fans, I am your hashtag certified Mark. This is the front row crew, Kyle Smith and Austin Greer. You can check out everything we've got on the YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook. And of course, you can always check out the MPX Network at network.mpxwrestling.com. $9.99 a month. First week is free. or Free if you have a... Uh, season ticket. Keep it kayfabe wrestling fans. Mark out.